Apple Color. My name is Ben Hushner and in the next few minutes I'm going to guide you through how to install and use your color effects and also show you a few hints and tips about how to use the color effects room in Apple Color. So let's start by just installing your presets. Okay so let's come into the finder and once you've uncompressed your download you'll have two folders one that's called Film Wash Volume 2 and Tutorials. You've obviously found tutorials because you're watching this so what we're going to do is we're going to install these color presets into the correct folder. So let's open up a new window. So you come into your user home here. So if you click on home, you come into your user folder and just go to library and under library, go to application support, then into color. So just drag the film wash volume two folder into the effects folder and that's copied in for you. So now if we open up color. So if we come into our color effects room, come into our color effects bin here and into the effects, you'll see right at the very top, you'll see a folder called Film Wash Volume 2. And inside there, we'll have three other folders, uh, Black and White Wash, Tone Wash, and uh, Cross Pro. So to apply any of these looks, let's start with, uh, with some of the Tone Wash, for example. So to apply any of these looks, all we have to do is simply just double click and automatically the, uh, the effect will be created for you on your, on your shot. And if you want to choose something else, just double click again and it will just replace that effect with the, other, with the new effect. There we go. So if you want to come up and have a look at the black and white wash, let's just come into here and just try some of these here. And so you can just very, very quickly take a little look through, see which ones you like and go to our cross-processing ones here. So in total, there's 55 different looks for you to experiment with and, and see which one fits your footage properly. Now if you want to apply it to multiple clips, let's just take something that's very easily recognizable. Just select multiple clips on the timeline and just double click. And you'll see that that's now been applied to all of the clips we had selected. Let's try a different one, Doomed, and let's just bring that in. So you can very, very quickly add a film wash across the, uh, the entire shot. So if you want to get rid of it all, just select all the nodes in here, just hit backspace and that will delete it for you. Film wash works better when your shots have already been balanced up. So there's nothing in here to stop you from going into, say, uh, the primary in room here and just balancing a shot in here. So for example, the, the skin tones here, a little bit on the magenta side. So I'm just going to come in just very quickly balance those out a bit more. If we move on to our next shot here, well the same sort of thing goes on. Let's uh, let's take a look and we'll just improve the uh, improve the brightness and contrast in this using the gain and the gamma and the lift just to get those shadows back in. And then we can come into our color wheels here, just balance those up. Of course, you don't have to use the primary in or anything like that to uh, to use the, the film wash effects, it just does help a little bit if all of your shots have a similar tone across if you want to match them up. So for example, now if we come in here, just select these two and choose, let's choose chestnut warm. So we can see that's looking quite nice there. If you want to see a before and after, just press control G and that will turn the grade off and on for you. So we can see what a difference we're making here. Let's take this one, that's quite a dramatic one, the channel suppress. I kind of really like that. And let's choose one more. Let's go for the, uh, let's choose a slightly different one here. Let's go for something like steely, steely blue. There we go. Of course you can customize these effects however you want to. It does take a little bit of knowledge of the color effects room to be able to do this, but I'm going to help you through that right now. So. We come away from the color effects bin and over into the parameters here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix back in a bit of the original picture. So all of our effects will end up with the, uh, the same final three nodes here. It will always end up with an output, a film grain, and a blend. So the output, we have no parameters we can change. The film grain is by default going to be set to zero on most of the effects and the blend is always going to be set to one. So let's start by just explaining what the color effects tree is. What's happening to our image here is that it's, it's coming in at the top here, coming in as a source and just working its way down th 
through these other little nodes here to come out on the output. So by changing the parameters on any of these things here, what we're doing is we're going to be changing the flow of the effect and changing the final look. So for example, the one we, we want to have a look at here is, uh, is Blend. Currently it's set to 1, which means it's taking all of its information from this input here. And this is the input that has all of the film wash effect going through it. The other source over here is set to nothing, which means it's looking back to the original picture. Or well, the original picture as it's being filtered through the primary in and secondary um, rooms already. So as we mix this back to zero, so I'm just using the middle mouse button here and holding down the Alt key to make it go a bit faster, you can see that at zero we've got our original effect back. As we mix it back to one and we hit one, it takes us all through our, our film wash effect. So if you think the effect's too strong, what you can do is just come into our blend here and bring this down a little bit and that will mix back some of the unaffected image into your into your mix and if you decide that this is the effect that you want to uh, do you want to use you can always come in and just save that in in the color effects bin now I'd probably save this into a different folder so that you don't get confused with the originals so the other thing to look at is the film grain so this has three controls really grain intensity grain size and monochrome here so the grain intensity, the higher we take this, you can see the noisier the image gets. You probably don't want to go too crazy. So instead of adding a nice grain to your image, you just end up adding a lot of, uh, a lot of noise, which just looks very messy. So we'll keep this, keep this fairly subtle, especially in this case here. And the grain size, this just shows how, how big or small the, um, the actual pixels of grain are. Uh, a monochrome, final one here. With this turned off, we've got some lovely color noise going in. With it turned on, it just gives us black and white noise. So you'll probably want monochrome turned on for some of the black and white presets. But otherwise, we'll just use the uh, the color noise here for this for this example. So we can just preview that back, and you can see that the noise is uh, is in fact moving along with it. So again, once you've sorted it out on one shot, save it in the color effects bin, obviously to a different bin, and then you can apply it to uh, to the other shots that you need to. The final thing I think I'll show you before wrapping this up is how to use the vignette. Uh, let's come over to it.